Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. The topic that we will discuss today is solving routine or non-routine problems involving addition and subtraction of decimal numbers including money. Okay, so let us read and analyze this problem below. Mang Pino has 18 pesos and 48 centavos. If he has to buy 5 pieces of candies worth 2 pesos and 10 centavos, how much change will he get from the seller? So, if that translate natin to sa Tagalog, si Mang Pino daw ay may 18 pesos and 48 centavos, then gusto niyang bumili ng 5 piraso ng candy na nagkakahalaga ng 2 pesos and 10 centavos kada isang piraso ng candy. Magkano ang kanyang magiging sukli? In order for us to solve the problem, we're going to use Polya's four-step method. So the first step is we understand the problem by answering what is asked and what is or are the given in the problem. Then second step is to plan. Plan on what operation you are going to use and what is the number sentence. Then the third step is to solve so, how is the solution done? And the fourth step is to check and look back. So, you have to check your answer. Then, tingnan mo kung tama ba. I-check mo kung tama yung sagot mo. Then, saka mo i-state ang iyong answer completely. Okay, so let us start solving the problem using the first step. So, understand the problem. So, what is asked in the problem? So, we are looking for the change he will get from the seller after buying 5 pieces of candies. So, yung hinahanap natin dito ay yung sukli na kanyang makukuha pagkatapos niyang maka makabili ng 5 piraso ng candy. Okay, so what is or are the given? The budget is 18 pesos and 48 centavos for 5 pieces of candies worth 2 pesos and 10 centavos each. A okay, second step is plan for the operation to be used and the operations that we will use are addition and subtraction. Then after natin malaman yung ating operation, so pwede na tayong maglagay ng ating number sentence. So ang ating number sentence is, so meron siyang 18 pesos and 48 centavos, then yung minus natin yung binili niyang limang piraso ng candy na nagkakahalaga ng dalawang piso, and 10 centavos kada isa para makuha natin yung makukuha niyang sukli. Okay, the third step is solve for the solution. So, we can use illustration or model para maipakita natin kung paano natin maisosolve yung problem. So, I will use an illustration. So, meron di bang limang piraso ng candy na kanyang binili. So, we're going to add the five candies na kanyang binili. And each candy cost 2 pesos and 10 centavos. So, 2 pesos and 10 centavos kada isang piraso ng candy. Then, we're going to get the sum of the five pieces of candy. So, we will get 10 pesos and 50 centavos. Then, after nyan, isasubtract na natin siya sa ating uh, total number, uh, total budget niya, 18 pesos and 48 centavos. Okay, so pag magsasubtract tayo ng decimal number, kailangan magkakapantay-pantay or magkakahanay ang mga place value ng whole number at place value ng decimal number. At ang guide natin dyan is yung decimal point. Okay, so proceed na tayo sa subtraction. 8 minus 0 is 8. Then 4 minus 5, bawal or cannot be. Kailangan nating manghiram sa ones place. So yung 4 natin ay magiging... 14. So, nadagdag, nadagdagan siya ng 10. So, pwede na tayong mag-proceed sa subtraction. 14 minus 5 is 9. Okay. So, since ang 8 ay nabawasan, so magiging 7 na lang siya. Then, proceed tayo sa subtraction. 7 minus 0 is 7. Then, lagay natin ang peso sign and yung ating decimal point. So, ang ating answer ngayon is 7 pesos and 98 centavos. 
Okay, so after getting the answer from the solution, we can now proceed on the fourth step, which is to check and look back. Okay, so what is the answer? So, sa check and look back, since yung ating nakuhang sagot is 7 pesos and 98 centavos, ia-add natin yun sa uh, amount ng candy na ating nakuha, which is 10 pesos and 50 centavos. And dapat yung makukuha natin sagot dito is yung total budget ni Mang Tino. So, if we're going to add 10 pesos and 50 centavos sa 7 pesos and 98 centavos, we will get 18 pesos and 48 centavos. So, tama. Therefore, our answer is 7 pesos and 98 centavos is the change that Mang Tino will get from the seller. Let's try to solve this problem. The perimeter of a quadrilateral is 412 and 9500 centimeter. If the three known sides measure 85 and 5600 centimeter, 112 and 7700 centimeter, and 85 and 2600 centimeter, how long is the fourth side? Okay, so the perimeter down ng quadrilateral, when we say quadrilateral, it has four sides. Ang perimeter niya is 412 and 9,500 centimeter. Pag sinabing perimeter, ito yung total or sum ng mga sides ng, o measurement ng sides ng quadrilateral. Then, meron daw three known sides given ang kanilang mga measurements. So, ang nawawala ngayon is yung fourth side. So, kailangan nating hanapin yung measurement ng pang fourth side. So, let us solve the problem using Polya's four-step method. So, understand the problem. So, what is asking the problem? The length of the fourth side of a quadrilateral. Then, the given R perimeter. Given ang perimeter na 412 and 9500 centimeter. And the length of three sides are 85 and 5600 centimeter. 112 and 7700 centimeter and 85 and 2600 centimeters. Mm. Okay, so plan for the operation to be used. So we're going to use addition and subtraction. Then state your number sentence. So the number sentence is 412 and 9500. Ma minus na natin ng sum ng three sides na 85 and 5600 plus 112 and 7700 plus 85 and 2600 to get the unknown measurement or unknown value of the fourth side, which is N. So, solve for the solution. How is the solution done? We can use an illustration para makipakita natin kung paano natin isosolve ang problem. So, based on the problem, we have the three given sides, 85 and 5600, 112 and 7700, and 85 and 2600. Then, the given perimeter is 412 and 9500. So, nawawala ngayon itong pang fourth side natin. So, kung papansin ninyo yung illustration, makikita nyo na mas malaki ang measurement ng ating fourth side. Okay, proceed na tayo sa solution. We have to add the given, the three given numbers or three given measurements which are 112 and 7700 plus 85 and 2600 plus 85 and 5600. Then get the sum. So 7 plus 6 is 13 plus 6. That is 19. Regroup 1 sa tenths place ng decimal number. Then add again, 7 plus 1, 8 plus 2, 10 plus 5, and that is 15. Regroup 1 sa 1's place. 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 5 is 8, and 8 plus 5 is 13. Regroup 1 sa 100's place. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 8 is 10, and 10 plus 8 is 18. Regroup 1 sa 100's uh, place, and 1 plus 1 is 2. Then, ilagay ang decimal point na naka-align. And again, dapat pag mag a tayo ng decimal numbers, naka-align ang kanilang mga place value. So, we get 283 and 59 hundreds. 
Okay, so after getting the sum of the three measurements, we can now proceed on the next operation which is subtraction. So, yung nakuha nating sum doon sa three given measurements ay isasubtract natin sa ating given perimeter. So, for 112 and 95 hundreds, babawasan natin ng 283 and 59 hundreds. Okay, again, pag magsasubtract tayo ng decimal numbers, kailangan magkakahanay at magkakapantay ang mga decimal, ang mga places or place value ng mga decimal numbers. So, start na tayo. So, 5 minus 9, bawal. So, we borrow 10 dito sa ating tens place. So, yung 5 ay magiging 15. So, 15 minus 9 and that is equal to 6. Since tanghiram tayo ng 10, mababawasan ng isa yung 9, siya na lang ay magiging 8. Then, proceed sa subtraction. 8 minus 5 is 3. Okay, next. 2 minus 3, bawal. Ang hihiram tayo ng 10 sa uh, tens place. So, magiging 12. 12 minus 3 is 9. Then, yung 1 ay nabawasan, kaya siya na lang ay magiging 10. Bawal din kasi isubtract ang 1 sa 8, kaya nang hiram tayo dito sa ating hundreds place, kaya yung 1 natin kanina ay naging 10 na lang. Dahil nabawasan din siya ng isa, dahil nang hiram yung 2 sa kanya ng 10. So, 10 minus 8 is 2. Then, mababawasan yung 4, siya ay magiging 3 na lang. So, 3 minus 2 is 1. Okay, so we get 129 and 36 hundreds. So for the fourth step, we need to check and look back. So alamin natin kung tama ba ang ating nakuhang sagot. So again, i-add natin yung ating nakuhang sagot or na 129 and 36 hundreds doon sa measurement ng tatlong given sides. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung sum ng tatlong given sides plus yung, sum, plus yung measurement ng uh, fourth side. Dapat ang kanyang makukuhang sagot is yung given perimeter. So, we have 412 and 95 hundreds. Therefore, the answer is 129 and 36 hundreds centimeter is the length of the fourth side of the quadrilateral. Okay, so we have to remember that in solving word problems, it is important that you follow the given steps on how to solve them. This will help you overcome your fear in different problems that you will encounter as we go along the lesson. And also with the use of Polya's four-step problem solving method, we can solve the problem by understanding the problem, plan for the operation and also state your number sentence then solve for the solution and check and look back to know if your answer is correct thanks for watching this video hit like if you learned from this video and don't forget to subscribe on my channel thank you so much